So hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make delicious fish maw soup. Fish maw soup is a very famous uh, Chinese soup and every time we go to the Chinese restaurant, fish maw soup is the way uh, first thing that we would order and so I decided to learn how to make it and the process to make it. It's not that hard and so I decided to put a video together to show you how to make this delicious fish maw soup from scratch. Okay, let's get started. Ingredients and the ingredients are fish maw, fish stomach, it's the same thing. Uh, there's some shrimp, there's some eggs, there are imitation crab, there's some chicken powder, some salt, some sugar, and also some cornstarch right here. Cornstarch uh, will make the soup become more thicker. And all the ingredients that I have shown you, you can easily find them from any Chinese grocery store. You actually could find uh, most of the ingredients at the normal uh, supermarket. Uh, Canadian supermarket or American supermarket, it doesn't matter. But then the only things that you may not find is the fish maw or the fish stomach. You may have to look at the Chinese store or a rental store, grocery store. So that's your best bet. So I would recommend that you go there and you find everything there. Okay, let me show you what to do next. And here is my fish maw. I have uh, soaked them in um, hot water for half an hour and so after you can easily slice them if you don't soak it ahead of time uh, when it is time for you to slice them it's going to be really tough and it is going to be really hard for you to slice it so i recommend soak it in somewhat hot water uh, not cold water so it can uh, speed up the process so it gets softer faster and i also want to show you um, when it is uh, not soaked it's like this it's really hard um, so you cannot even cut through it so um, it really help you if you soak it and sometimes when you uh, put them into the water they actually float up I actually want to show you one to put it in here it's going to float right so you need something to uh, press it down so this way when you uh, when you soak it it actually push it down so then it's not just soak on the top so it can soak evenly Okay, now we can start to slide the fish maw or fish stomach. See, it's really tough, right? And you just going to slice them into strip. Slice them into long strip like this. And then after, you can put the uh, strip together. And after, you can start to slice it this way. And, and I want to show you. So that big here. You hold them together and slice them. Okay, I'm going to continue slice the rest and I'm going to come back to show you. We got this much. So it is about, about three of these. If you want to put less, you can put less. Okay, okay now that we just finished uh, slicing the fish ball, next we're going to uh, cook the fish ball first because the fish maw will take longer because it is more uh, harder comparing to the imitation crab or the uh, shrimps, it take longer to cook. So we're going to cook the fish maw first while we uh, get the other ingredients ready so we can save some time this way. And so now my uh, water is boiling right now and next I'm going to uh, put the fish maw that we had sliced and we're going to put them into the two liters that we were boiling that we start to boil before we start to slice these and we're going to put you can go ahead to put them all in so i have put the fish maw in here this is two liters of water and fish maw we add them in there and now we're going to add all the other ingredients and we're going to add chicken powder one tablespoon of chicken powder one teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. You're going to stir and mix all the ingredients together and you're going to bring it to boil and you're going to lower the heat down to number eight. Bring it to boil first and after that we're going to set the timer and we're going to cook it for 20 minutes on heat number eight. And next we're going to slice up some shrimps. 
mushrooms here you can use any size or bigger or smaller this one is size 3140 I put about 250 grams of shrimp I bought it like this um, it only has the skin on the tail and what I did I just peel off the skin and that's it and so what you can do to speed up the process you can line them up a handful and after you can hold the shrimp together like this and start to slice them at the same time so that way you don't need to slice them one at a time you can slice them this big not too small but it's also up to your preference too it doesn't have to be exact same size that I've shown you okay now you can go ahead to uh, slice the rest of it okay now the shrimp is done now you can leave that on the side and here is the imitation crab you can use uh, this kind like the chunky kind short like this or I also bought some or you can also use uh, this kind this kind usually have a plastic wrap on top so you want to make sure you take the plastic out what you can do you can slice them in half like this because it's really soft already but some of them they're not soft they're harder so you can slice them but this one the minute I slice them they become like shredded like this so you can use this one you can use uh, this one also this one is more tougher so more harder so um, you um, I'm going to slice it this way so then they not become chunky so then when they cook they actually uh, fall apart more but for this recipes I only put 200 grams okay that is my last piece there and you also need two eggs and the eggs part you're only going to need the uh, the egg white. You're not going to need the egg yolk. It. Okay, leave that on the side for now. Next, moving on to uh, cornstarch here. And you is this is two and a half tablespoon of cornstarch, and you're going to add room temperature water, one cup. You're going to give it a stir. You uh, will to um, add hot water or some warm water. It will clump up, and then your soup will have this clumpy, clear coat in the um, in the soup. You don't want that. So you 20 want minutes is up, and um, the fish mold getting softer now. Now we can go ahead and start to add the uh, imitation crab. Uh, we can put it all in. This is the next uh, ingredients that we have to add. It can take longer and it doesn't get uh, too hard compared to the trim. And here after you uh, cook, um, put the imitation crab in and you cook it on heat number 8 for 5 minutes. Now it gets even softer, it's, everything gets softer all together. And now you can go ahead and put the cornstarch first. And here is our cornstarch. Give it a good mix before you pour the cornstarch in. And you can uh, also turn the heat back to high and so you're going to put in the cornstarch. You're going to bring it to boil and just keep on stirring. And as you can see the soup is more thicker now. And as soon as the soup boils we're going to add our eggs in. Uh, bad reflection here okay the egg right there one and hand you gotta hold on to the stick and one hand you gotta pour this pour the egg in and stir it as you pour in the egg because sometimes it pour in clumps it's like a whole bunch uh, going there as you can see and as you stir it will break the eggs apart and now you can go ahead to pour some more slowly and stir at the same time and that's it no more and it doesn't take that long to uh, cook the egg really right now that is boiling really the soup is done 
end and you can go ahead and turn off the heat and now everything is softer and everything is ready to go and here I bring out another pot I'm going to put some soup in here and I say that I only want to have some of it I don't want to have a lot and so I would put some in the pot and then I'm going to turn on the heat and as you can see here, the, um, I turn on the heat and it is boiling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add only some shrimp. As much as I want in here. And I'm going to cook it. And the shrimp, it doesn't take that long. It only takes one minute to cook. So as soon as you see the, uh, the orange color of the shrimp, the color change, it's cooked already. It has really bad lighting. I don't know if you can see right there. And that's it. I'm going to turn off the heat. And as you turn off, turn off the heat, um, it also continues to cook because the hot soup will cook the shrimp also. And that's it guys on how you can make this delicious uh, fish maw soup. You can put some pepper here. And if you want it more liquidy, you can also uh, reduce the ingredients that we put, like the fish maw or the uh, imitation crab or the shrimp. You can reduce those, and um, then your soup become uh, more soupy. But the one that I shown you, it is more thicker. I have to let you know, but it's good. Every bite that you um, that you take. It has so much fish maw, it has so much um, good stuff in there that every bite is so worth it. <laughs> okay, let me give it a taste. Mmm, it's so good. And that's it guys. Uh, it's so easy to make a delicious fish maw soup at home. I hope that you can follow this recipe. It's so easy to make and remember to only put the shrimp when you are going to serve or you're going to eat them right away you can uh, make everything prepare everything because everything can sit in there and not get that rubbery taste or get that chewy taste as comparing to uh, the shrimp if you put them in too long they become really hard it's fresh so you want to make sure that you put that last or just before serving and or you can separate them into a pot uh, the soup and then add the shrimp as needed uh, as much as you want and then uh, serve your guests or serve yourself right away and that's it guy and I hope uh, that you like this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any question leave in the comment box below I will try to answer all the questions to the best that I can and uh, I hope to see you all in my next video bye bye